Hello everyone, this is Roller with Winter Bros. In this video demonstration, we're going to show you how to create your own words and phrases using the new 3D font pack from da for DAS Studio. Here you can see we've opened up DAS Studio 4.10 Pro, and we're going to show you first where to find the uh, font pack once you've uh, purchased it and installed it. So you're going to find it under DAS Studio Formats. You'll expand that down to My DAS 3D Library. And you expand that down again, and you'll look for Props by clicking this little expansion button and if you you scroll all the way down to find the little round circle W which is our logo for Winter Bros. You expand that and you'll find them in here under the chisel font the mallow font the uh, excuse me the stout font and the tuppy font and they all have these little icons that uh, say 3D font so we're gonna show you real quick we're gonna go ahead and use the um, the stout font and we're going to make a uh, show you how to use it really quick to say Merry Christmas 2017. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll just scroll through here, and we're going to go ahead and just uh, all you have to do is just double click on each of the props to load them in. Uh, we recommend you do them in the order. If you're going to use some of the scripts that we're going to show you, uh, like a line or a grouper, uh, we recommend that you put the fonts in in the order, or excuse me, yeah, in the order that you can use them. So we're going to start with the capital M. Double click it. And then we're going, we're going to spell Merry Christmas 2017. There's E. We'll get in here two R's. And then we'll go ahead and get us a Y. And then we'll show you what how we're going to... Uh, we'll go over here and uh, do the... Um, we'll get to their side, go to the Scene tab. So now in the Scene tab, you can see we've got Merry uh, spelled out with these props. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select all these props uh, by clicking the uh, first one holding the shift key for windows anyway and then select the last one so they're all selected and then we will go back over here and we will go back up to the scripts with those selected the first thing we want to do is run the aligner script and what that did if you're watching the uh, view panel here you'll see the viewport we'll drag it over you can see it aligned all the letters and then we'll take and if you watch over here in the scene tab we're going to run grouper next and what that does, it creates a group uh, from the letters that you chose. And if you look, it actually spells out with the word what it is, Mary. And now we can minimize that group. We'll go and select all. And then we can minimize that group. So now we have the group Mary, which we can do anything we want with. We can pull it up to the top, move it around, and do all kinds of things with it. So the next thing we're going to do, we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and spell Christmas. So Oops, sorry about that. We're going to scroll down here. We'll start with the, uh, I'm going to spell this really quick. I'm sure you all know how to spell it, so I'll just get this done. Oops, where's the I? This is a little bit longer word. So, let me hurry and get this one wrapped. Oops, wrapped up. Oh, almost up clicked the wrong letter there. Okay, and then once again, we'll, we'll start with the C. We'll select it in the Scene tab and go all the way down. And then once again, we'll scroll up here, and we're going to run the Aligner script on it. And then we're going to run the Grouper script. Oh, looks like I left a letter out. Christmas. Oh, I missed, missed M. We're going to pause real quick while I go insert that. Okay, we made that correction. Now we're back. We'll go ahead and select the C, and then we're going to select all the characters down through there. And again, we're going to go ahead and run the aligner really quick again. And then we're going to run grouper to make them into a single group that spells Christmas. And the nice thing with using the groups is you don't, you can see your words in the scene tab without having to have in each individual prop selected. You know, you can use, you can do those individually if you choose to. So let me scroll out back up a little and zoom so we can see the whole word. There we got Merry Christmas so far. So we'll go ahead and select Christmas and bring it up just a little bit. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, add 2017. So we'll scroll down here to the numbers, or excuse me, up to the numbers. They're above the scripts. So we'll add 2017. Then we'll take those. And again, we'll do the aligner. And then we'll do the grouper. And there we go. Now we have Merry Christmas 2017 spelled out there. And we can go ahead and we'll go to the front view here so you can see it a little better. You can uh, move them around in the Scene tab, uh, do whatever you want with them. 
Uh, and it's, it's, you can see how easy it is and how quick you can spell complete uh, words or even sentences or phrases, depending on what you're doing. You can just, if you scroll around, we can see they're, they're actually 3D. And we're going to show you in another video how to colorize these and how to actually apply textures to them. So don't forget when you're using your uh, the 3D font pack, uh, you have the aligner script and the grouper script that'll help you create your own words and phrases and whole sentences if you like. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation, and if you haven't already done so, please consider purchasing the 3D font pack one for DAS Studio. Have a great day.